It was a march for change, billed as a do or die moment. Led by a former cricketer and prime minister vying for a political comeback. Everyone here to get as close as they can to Imran Khan. That is, until this. <laughs> There's panic. On top of the container, Mr. Khan is carried away. We're downstairs. We'd left the roof minutes before. Everyone down there. Everyone down there. There's worry the attacker may be on board. And just behind us is Imran Khan. He's also trying to make an escape, clearly dazed and wounded. But moments later, surrounded by a sea of supporters, he finds the strength to reassure them. But it's a deeply anxious aftermath. Everyone unsettled. Hours later, Punjab police released this video, claiming it shows the gunman being wrestled to the ground. Khan was ousted in a no confidence vote this year. He's been pushing for an early election. And I spoke to him just before he made his way upstairs. The government are concerned about violence. They've talked about credible terrorist threats. Are you worried about that? The only terrorist threat for us is the government and the handlers. Does it worry you, the prospect of violence? Well, I'm confident, I'm confident that um, and I've been on the road for six months now. Uh, what I've seen, I'm confident that I will be able to direct it through elections. The government has no choice but to hold elections, sooner or later, and I think it's only a matter of time. For now, he is simply out of danger. His team says it was a clear assassination attempt. He had momentum, and this may well generate much more. Cordelia Lynch, Sky News, Wazirabad. Pakistan.